Welcome to Health Hats, the podcast. I'm Danny Van Leeuwen, a two-legged, cisgender, old white man of privilege who knows a little bit about a lot of health care and a lot about very little. You'll listen and learn about what it takes to adjust to life's realities in the awesome circus of health care. Let's make some sense of all of this. Thank you. I'm intrigued by your talking about seekers, networkers, solvers, and champions. But I want to start with which archetype are you? It's a good question. So let me quickly yes. describe each one and then, and then then I'll share which one that I identify as most often. So the first group are seekers. Seekers are people who feel that they're not getting answers to their questions. And the key here is that they get to decide whether their questions are being answered. They get to decide if the information is enough. And they, they decide to go out on the hunt for more and better information. And it's that spark, that jolt of energy that makes someone become a seeker that, that I'm really intrigued by. Because often when someone gets hit by a health challenge, they might be too stunned or exhausted to raise their hand and try and go out on the hunt. So that's seekers. They go out on the hunt for information and they don't give up. The second group are networkers. Networkers are people who just naturally learn in community. They can't help but talk to other people, whether online or offline. When they find something useful, they can't wait to share it with their community. They're people who pool resources and create community where, frankly, wherever they go. The third group are solvers attack problems. If they are faced with a assistive device or medical device that isn't working for them, they will try to take it apart and put it back together again. They will hack it, meaning they will try and find an elegant solution as a workaround, which is the original definition of a hack. Solver can also look at a system and see the flaws in it. And again, want to contribute to fixing that system. The fourth group are champions. Champions have access to resources that are generally controlled by mainstream healthcare or mainstream institutions. Things like funding, media attention, regulatory guidance, access to labs and manufacturing facilities or special materials. A champion will look across the landscape, see a patient-led or survivor-led team that has a great idea but is in need of the resource that they control, and they will share it with them. They'll infuse that team with a resource that the patient-led team needs to scale their idea. So you asked which I identify as. At my core, I'm a networker. I am almost infamous for not being able to resist talking to people. <laughs> and I love it. It's feature or flaw. It's part of who I am. I love to learn from people. And I think that is a trait of networkers. I would say that when I've needed to, I've taken on the role of a seeker and even taken on the role of a solver. I don't think I'm a natural solver, but when I've had to, I've I figured out how to fix something. And I've also stepped into a role as a champion. When I was at HHS, for example, starting the Invent Health Initiative, which brought this idea of patients and survivors and caregivers who are creating new assistive and medical devices, the hardware of healthcare, bringing that, them into this conversation at the level of the federal government. I host, write, and produce Health Hats, the podcast, with assistance from Kayla Nelson and Leon and Oscar Van Leeuwen. Music from Joey Van Leeuwen. I'm grateful to you who have the critical roles as listeners, readers, and watchers. Subscribe and contribute. If you like it, share it. See you around the block.